Hey guys, it's me Val, truth be told. Welcome back to my channel. So, not feeling so good today, but I'll get on with it. Um, as you've seen already, there's a few videos gone out about this latest shadow business. Now, I know I'm always a little bit late <laughs> to the party, but hopefully when I do come, <laughs> I come bearing gifts. So, I want to talk about the shadow situation that um, Alan Vinicom has been putting on his channel can I just say first of all this is a lot of my videos a lot of our videos truth channel videos are not just for the people who've already subscribed or the people who are the truth channels to watch we do these videos because we want to try and get across to people who are either subscribed to him I don't really understand all the stuff he's done in the last two three years we want to try and get to the people that may be subscribing to him, maybe thinking of giving him money, but don't actually understand again what he's done over the past two or three years. So we make our videos so that we can try and educate you on Alan Vinicom, the scum of YouTube, because Alan has obviously been for the past, past two years using the Rusex, using the death of Shanann and the babies to make money. So we make these videos to help people understand what he is. I want to go over something today. Um, Alan's latest video. Oh, I'm sighing a lot today. If he was a real detective, he would have done the things or even debunked himself before we could debunk him. Because it's so easy to debunk Alan Vinicom and to show what he's really done with either footage or what he's really said. He has no foresight. He doesn't seem to think, oh, if I put this out, it's quite easy to debunk. And he's going to look a dickhead. Perhaps he likes looking a dickhead. Perhaps he likes being debunked in our videos. It's probably one of the two. But we still have to do something. We can't just sit back and think, oh, we're not going to make videos because we're feeding Alan. You know, we have to. So where we lose on one side, we might gain on another. But Alan does the most ridiculously stupid things and to call himself a detective. Um, no, no, he's the worst detective on this planet because a child could look at his videos and debunk them within two minutes. I'm going to play. I mean, I know you've already probably seen if you've watched Martin Dehans and Truth Justice's video, you've probably already seen their take on it. I'm going to say with put my take on it and add a little bit more just to try and educate you guys, please, you know. Anyway, I'll play the video and um, catch you at the end. You've never seen this clip. This is Nate's TV, direct. The police can't alter this. At this stage, they haven't been near it. This is Nate's virgin footage. Never been doctored. That's Nate's virgin TV showing you the truth. Look at Nate's truck. And then there's a brick wall, right? <laughs> there's only one brick wall. Child stood there. And then it looks another like a child at their feet. This isn't the big reveal, by the way. It just needs you to see it. Because it's weird. Could it be a ghost? Could it be spirit world? I don't know. You'll see a pure white piece of driveway. Can you see the driveway? Everyone see the driveway. You see my pointer there? Can you see my pointer on the screen? I've got it on Nate's um, car. Can you see my pointer, please? Can you see my pointer? Can I point at you? Can you see my pointer on Nate's car? Yes or no? I've got my pointer on Nate's windshield. Can you see it? Can you see my pointer on Nate's windshield? Please answer. Yes, you can see it, Mia. You see my pointer on the on the on the windshield of Nate's car. Yes, please answer. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now we move up here. There's the bush. There's Betty's. Here is the driveway. Watch this driveway. If somebody stood there, ready to back him into the garage, now they're gone. Right. Shadow head and shoulders. Not a child. As it backs in, goes there. It doesn't want to be run over. Obviously. Someone was in the garage. And this is on doctored footage before the police got it. This is raw footage from Nate's television. Now, Chris will back off. There! There! 
There he she is. There it is, right in front of you. Yeah, come on Chris, back off, back off, yeah, this way. Nothing, come on, back off. Is that evidence? No doubt Mr. Walker said it's not. So, this footage that he's got is from a police officer's mobile phone who recorded the actual footage off the telly whilst he was round at Nate's the day that they were doing the interview and talking to Chris about Shannon Missing. It's not the best quality, it's not usable, and I'm going to show you afterwards what I've done to kind of debunk and try and figure out how it was kind of made like that, how it came across that he could use it and manipulate it. See, Alan is absolutely determined, determined to portray NK as somebody who was there, maybe somebody who was actually at the time, there at the time of the murder, even murdered Shanann. He's been telling this story for so long, he has to make narratives up, he has to make stories up, because he doesn't want to be wrong. Every time he finds something, he will point and say, look, it's Nicole. And I think that's absolutely disgusting what we're doing at um, This is the real footage. This is what most people use in their videos to show the clip of him reversing back towards the garage. This is real evidence. As you can see, one's very still because that's literally the CCTV footage and one's very jittery. So it's funny how that Alan has seemed to think that the jittery, out of focus, badly filmed one is the one that he's going to use for evidence. See, detectives would know that that's not the one to use. <laughs> People with, the, uh, the only reason that he's using that because it's easy to manipulate it's blurred, it's shaky. He can make you see what he likes in that video. I, I just, I'm stunned. I'm stunned that he's found this footage off one of his subscribers apparently. And he's using the fact that it's filmed badly and it's quite unclear to his advantage. So again, he can try and manipulate the viewers to see something new so he can keep gaining the money and at the same time try and put Nicole Kessinger there that night, early morning. This is what a shadow would actually look like. See, I've paused it. So if there was a real person, Alan, standing in the doorway, it would be a more a solid block. A tall, long, skinny, solid block, like the shadow of Chris walking out the garage there. If you stopped him just before he leaves the garage, that's the type of shadow that you would see, not the one that you're portraying is there. No. The actual shadow that is the real shadow is either from the trees or it's probably just some markings on the road. This is me just trying to show you how easy it is to basically manipulate footage. As you can see, I've kind of got the bar underneath and I'm going up, I've brightened it up and the contrast has gone very high. Can you see how the shadow goes once the high the contrast has gone high now? No. Maybe he filmed it pretty high contrast. Maybe bubbles messed with it when she tried to brighten it. Maybe it was manipulated so that the shadow went now. As you can see, when the van's reversing. I've actually manipulated it so the shadow appears and then goes so that the shadow doesn't get run over by the truck. It's so easily done guys. Look, see, just twist and play with those little knobs. Yeah, Adi will know how to do that. And you can just create any kind of depth, any contrast that you want and you make the shadow go away and appear when you want it. 
So this is what Alan's been doing. It's easy debunked. It's easy debunked. Can you see how easy it is to manipulate footage? Um, Alan's trying his best to stretch this horrible situation out. He's been doing it for two and a half years now. He keeps trying to find things to make a story about. I've got a little bit of footage in front of me now I'm going to put on here that proves to you that the man is making it up as he goes along. He just wants to make as much money as he can from the Rusex, from Chris Watts, from Shanann, Nico Bella and Cece. So he keeps every sort of three months coming up with a new shadow, a new pixelated image, and he'll keep doing this, but I want to show you something. What's happened to all the shadows from the past? What's happened to all the pixels, all the theories? Nothing. And this theory will fall flat on its face in another week. It won't be spoken of. This is just another plan to make a story to gain money. That's a moving figure. You see it moving? There's one giveaway sign coming up. Keep your eyes on him. There, he puts the phone to his ear. Puts the phone to his ear. Takes it away again. Wow, that, that, <laughs> that's the evidence I've got for you. The silver phone. Silver phone to his ear. There it is. Okay. What happened to the man holding the phone, guys? He disappeared, didn't he? That was another whole, probably two hour video, or two or three two hour videos, just on that stupid image of some idiot that he thought there was a man holding a silver phone in a reflection. I wonder how much money he gained from those videos. Have we heard of the man with the silver phone again? No. And that's, this is um, late CCTV, in the quality we know. Chris comes into his truck, backs it just inside the garage. Again, there's the truck. There he is, that side. You can see the grey toolbox, right? Grey toolbox. See, at that point, he's looking closely at the wheels. He's looking closely at the top hole. And why didn't he notice Nicole Kessinger or Bella down by the wheels? At that point, no. Because had he noticed all these pixels and all these images <clears throat> at one time, he would have been out of storyline within a week <clears throat> excuse me so what he does he will see them one month and then see something else another month if ad was such a great detective whilst he was looking perhaps at the man with the phone he might have seen the tarpaulin or whilst he was looking at the tarpaulin why didn't he see nk and bella at the wheels if he was such a good detective guys why doesn't he see all these images of people all at once why does it take him two and a half years to see all these individual things it's because he's lying out of his backside yeah. now suddenly we have a better quality cctv than netflix you should all now realize the first time in history chris watts laid with a green top big as i can get it to show you it's green and not gray <laughs> that's nate's cctv you can't say, AD, hey, you're a scammer and idiot, I hate you, because you'll be banned. That's not an opinion. It's lies. The only person there. Otherwise, he's got an accomplice. Do you agree? If I can prove to you there's another person there, do you agree he's got an accomplice? Yeah. Watch him come. There he comes. But believe it or not, in that split second, we're going to change the case tonight. What you see here is the wheel. This is the truck. That's the arch of the wheel, okay? This crops up over and over again in this video. Believe it or not, that's a woman's handbag. Here's the child. Here's the child. There's the child. Being pushed back in with the lady with the handbag. Now, your eyes are accustomed to it, and you can see the child. Baggy, white top, hair. Her face is there, but it's pixelated. This is blown up over 200 times. I have to say lady, because I'm not going to say her name. She's no lady. She pushes this child back in. There. Do you know how you, do you, do you, know, how you know she pushes the child back in? Do you, know, do you know how mean she is? Because I've, I've recognised her handbag. Her handbag pixelates into a white circle. There's a handbag. There we go. Another story that he created. 
the NK and Bella at the wheels. But I want to mention something that he does do a lot of. He manipulates the slider. See on that image there, if you look close, he keeps saying that that's Nicole NK down by the wheels pushing Bella back. But it's not pushing Bella back because it's actually Chris Watts walking to put the red thing into the back of the van. Petrol tank thing. You know, it's actually his hand. So he continues walking to the van, but what armchair detective does is he stops it halfway and then reverses. So he makes it look like a woman, he reverses and pushes back. So as he's saying, he pushes her back. Look, he's pushing her back. He's not. He's playing it, reversing it. If he continued to play it, it would then stand up and it would turn into Chris Watts putting the, pet, the red petrol thing in the back of the truck. But he stops it just at the right moment and reverses to make it look like he's got some pictures of some woman that he's obviously trying to convince you all is NK. <sighs> Where did that go? See, at the time he talks about these things, he's absolutely adamant. If you don't see these things, that you're stupid. If you don't want to agree with me, you can leave the chat. You need to see this. Can you see my pointer? Look harder. Look harder. Look harder. It's kind of a hypnosis. The more you repeat something, the more people are going to just agree with you. Just either to shut you up or just because that's who they are. There's nothing in these pictures. So why did he see the NK and Bella at the wheel when he was looking at the tarpaulin? Or when he was looking, you know, at, at the lights in the trees? Why didn't he see Nico, you know, Nicola and Bella down at the wheel? <laughs> every, every time, he, the man, I don't understand how. Can you see what I'm trying to say, cat guys? He's splitting all these stories up. If he was that good, he would have seen all these things. First off, the first moment he looked at all that footage, he would have said, oh, look, there's a man in reflection with a phone. Look, there's two people down at the wheel. Oh, look, the tarpaulin changes colour. The tarpaulin didn't change colour. It was just filter. And you can tell because the rest of the image went the same colour. You have to look at this, guys. This is this is not just... I'm not... I'm tired today. And I just need people to see what he's doing. When the lights are flickering, if you look in the left-hand corner, he's manipulating, he stops and starts, he stops and starts. You're too busy looking over here at the lights, but then Alan is in the corner and he's stopping at certain points so that he's making lights flash, he reverses them. He creates his own manipulated footage out of the things that he's got. And then he begs and begs and begs you for money. You need to get some self-love, guys. You need to look at what he's doing to you. He's manipulating you. And he's doing it through all this fake footage that I would imagine is pretty illegal. So Bubbles and, and, and Joe the cat, you know, you are going along with this. You are also going to get into trouble if anything comes about this, which is what we're trying to do. And this is why we are here. He manipulates footage. He uses filters. He contrasts and brightens things up to make things come and go, which is what I've shown you. If he really saw all these images, he would have seen them all at once. But you see, today, it's the shadow of the garage. And what's it going to be next month? It's going to be another story. I really don't know how else to finish this off by just saying thank you for watching. Um, it's pretty easy to debunk Alan because he's so shallow when he's trying to manipulate footage it's so easy done it's just a light trick or look over here whilst he does something over there and if he was such a great detective and if he was completely right with everything that he saw he wouldn't be getting debunked it would all be true Nicole would have been arrested by now because obviously she was with Bella pushing her in and out of the garage the guy with the phone to his ear, he would have been found out and interviewed. The tarpaulin. Was Shanann meant to be under the tarpaulin? Well, where did that go? These stories just get created and then get forgotten about. He's not an armchair detective. He's 
not even a detective. He's a con artist. He's a scammer. He manipulates footage. He lies. And he begs for money. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching.